All right, so dealing with our last section from this chapter of circles, we're looking at the area of a circle. Okay. So the area of a circle is found by multiplying pi, which is the number 3.14159, times r squared. So we take the radius, we square the radius, and then we multiply it by pi. Now we can either multiply it by pi into it, or we can um, just keep it in terms of pi. So we just keep pi as our answer. But you square the radius, so you don't do anything with the diameter, you square the radius. Okay, so let's say we have this example. Find the area of this circle. Uh, the diameter of the circle is 48. So take a second, find the area of this circle. Okay, so with this circle, you probably found out that the radius was 24. So we'd want to square 24, and then we'd multiply it by pi. So we could either write it as uh, 574 or 576 pi, or you could write it as 1809.56. And go at least two decimal places. Three would be better, but two is fine. Meters squared. Okay. So if you multiplied 3.14159 into it, you should have gotten an 1809.56. Okay. And make sure you go into the decimal. I don't want it rounded to the nearest hole. I want decimals for these. Okay. So you find the diameter, or you take find the radius, which is half the diameter, square it, and then multiply it by pi. So the pi is the last thing you do. Okay, that's the area of a circle. So how much more pizza would a 14-inch diameter pizza have over a 12-inch diameter pizza? Okay, so take a second and find the difference between the two sizes of pizza. So with this one, what we'd have to do is that we'd have to find the diameter, or not the diameter, the area of each pizza. The area of the 14-inch pizza and the area of the 12-inch pizza. And when we find both of those, we find that the 14-inch would be 49 pi and the smaller one would be 36 pi. When we subtract 49 pi by 36 pi, we end up with 13 pi. And then 13 times pi gets you about 40.84. Now, if you did this and you got a number around that, you're probably still okay if you multiplied pi n then there's some rounding but you should be around 40 41 inches square inches as the difference between the two okay so find the area of the bigger find the area of the smaller and then you're just doing a subtraction of it and that's how you find the difference between those two which one has more area or which how much more area does the larger pizza have okay uh, next up is what's called the sector of a circle and the sector of a circle is basically it's a piece so if you think about when you cut a piece of cake or a piece of pie or something you have that little triangular piece or a piece of pizza uh, in that case that is the area of the sector okay is what we're trying to find we're trying to find what's the area of that piece and to do that you basically find the area of the circle okay which is pi r squared and then you're multiplying it by what fraction of the circle that piece is so if that piece was a third of the overall piece, you would take the area and divide it by three. If it was um, a half of it, so if you took half the pizza, you would just take the area and cut it in half. If it was a quarter, you'd take a quarter. If it was an eighth, you'd take an eighth of it. Um, this equation right here is based on the angle. So if you know what the central angle is of the pizza, of the slice, so if we know what this angle is, we'll we would still be able to find what it is. This is basically n. That angle is n. Okay. And then the radius would be how long this circle is. So that would be r. Okay. All right, so let's do an example. So, um, so this is our sector formula. This is a little bit different from or this it's written a little bit different. It's talking about the arc length, but it's still the same. Okay. So let's say I have this piece of pumpkin pie, the best type of pie, and uh, you see that each side of that piece is five inches and the angle's 30, okay? So take a second and find the overall area of the pie if it had a radius of five inches. Okay, so if it had a radius of five inches, that would mean that the overall area would end up being 25 pi. And now what we want to do is we want to find the area of the um, that slice, which we would take that 30, that 30, and that'd get plugged in there. So we'd go 30 over 360 multiplied by 25 pi or 
whatever the decimal is. Okay, so take a second and find the area of that piece of pie. Okay. All right, so we end up seeing that we end up with about 25 pi over 12 ends up being the number, which is about 6.545 inches squared. Okay. So once we plug everything in and we solve it, we end up getting our um, answer. All right, so take a second, find the area of this sector if the radius is five inches. Okay. And when you did this calculation, you should have ended up with approximately uh, 11.4 six pi inches squared or 35.997 or 36 would probably be acceptable as well. So about 36 square inches ends up being the area of this sector. All right, here's the homework from the section. This is the last section of chapter 13. Okay, so make sure you get this done and that'll be it.